members of the Murphy Mowers Club because we were in a parade recently and the parade announcer said as we went by, and here's and here comes Lee Murphy and his mower club. <laughs> like, well, so, I've never heard that term, but okay. Yeah, no, I don't think we were aware that it was a club until until we made that one critical turn on the Main Street through town, and then all of a sudden you had yourself a club. Hello guys, it's Lee. All right, I'm getting ready probably tomorrow afternoon. I'm just getting things ready. It's Sunday afternoon. It's Sears Suburban 15, 1972. This one operates on points. And what I'm gonna do here in the next couple of days is I'm gonna take the coal up coil off right under that right here this cover and i've done a little research and i figured out you can put an electronic coil on that will bypass the points I've done this before but i'm trying it putting a spark plug the spark plug in my uh, my, uh little cleaner had some carbon on it i mean i'll end up buying another one but Figured it wouldn't hurt to have an experiment. Let's take a look at it. I might try to use it. Um, see, that's pretty darn clean. Had all kind of carbon on it. Um, you know, ran it a few times. So I don't know. Might use it. But I'm going to set up here and start taking this cover off. And um, we'll see what happens. this coal so we got to undo it here and I think this is the wire that goes to the points I'll have to track it down and make sure but I think all you do is simply disconnect this that goes to the points this one probably goes to the switch right here and make sure it's still connected but we're going to take that off right here. I'm trying to figure out where that goes. All right, so I need to unhook this one. All right, so here's the old coil. All right, so I have verified. It's not real hard to do. This wire, this one that goes through here, it's going over to the point. So I'm gonna unscrew this nut, just take that off and probably cut that end off, or I might pull it out on the other side of this just to keep it out of the way. Now this one should have a wire going up to the switch. These are grounding points. So I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and clean those up. And that'll be that. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna get this off and work on getting that done. Okay, so I'm over here by my bench and this is the coil. I have um, put this, I made a wire and put that end on it and that end for the other end. Now the instructions I got were this, if you can read it, it says cylinder side. And this over here, if you can read it, I had to get my glasses out, but it said this side out. Okay, the important part is you reverse it. That says cylinder side, and this all has to do with polarity. Hey, don't I, I don't know that I understand what's going on here, but somehow all the instruction I've ever seen was this side is out, which is opposite of what it says. So I just cleaned up the contacts. 
I did get that off. Um, this wire right here is, I'm gonna push it through that panel before I finish. Cause I don't want it in the, that's going to the points and that's what we're disconnecting. All right, so let me show you where I'm at. I got the new wire on. I'll make sure it's good and tight. I got it there. This one's still gonna disappear. I got the coil wire run through here and that's the other end of it, ready for spark plug. So I'm ready to gap this. All right, so what I'm doing here so I'm going to put this right here, try to get that out of the way, get that out of the way. And then I'm going to turn this and I'm trying to get this magnet under the coal. Just like that. That card's in there. So what we're going to do, let's see, is that the right one? Yeah. I'm going to loosen the little screws up. And watch it move if you can see it. See it move? So it is right on top of that magnet. Spake. Now, really all you gotta do is tighten it up and move the card. So let me get my... I think it's 0.10 on your feeler gauge. I always do this and it never goes wrong. You know, don't just tighten down on this with your impact or anything. This is gentle stuff. That's nice and firm right there. Now watch what I do here. Get that card out. So that's what your gap is. That's it right there. Make sure that's on good and tight. I almost did this wire a little too short. Almost did. I think I'm good though. All right, guys. Is all we're looking for is spark because this thing's been sitting here for a year, maybe a year and a half. So I figured the gas is probably not good. Carburetor probably needs to be cleaned. Before I did all that, I need to get spark back. And so if we get spark here, I'm gonna be excited. If not, then I'm gonna have to do some more research to figure out what I did wrong. Um, so I turned the spotlight off. We're gonna put the camera on the spark tester mainly. All right, guys, I got my booster pack on. Checking for fire. Hey, look at there, it's doing it. I haven't seen fire in that in a year and a half. Um, I did have to unhook the choke. So I'm gonna hook it back up, maybe spray some uh, starter fluid in there. Hey, we'll just see what happens. All right, so let me see. I got my starter fluid. Hey, that's something. Pretty good container I hadn't ran in a year and a half. I parked it in here and it never would start again. So I was, uh, so I got fire and that's what we were after in this video. So I, so I disconnected the points, you know, the wire to the points is gone or it's just sitting there. Um, now that I can rest easy and know that it will start I'm probably going to, all those rusty bolts, I'm going to put them in um, oh, some acid. It's something for rust. So I'm going to put them in there, clean them up, probably paint them. And I'm going to slowly put this thing back together and just make sure everything's good and tight. And uh, I'm not going to get in a hurry with it. Probably going to paint some parts um, and just get it back easily. Probably go ahead and take that carburetor off and clean it too. So I don't know if I'll video that or not. But uh, th this is going to end this video because I got it to shoot some fire. All right.